SpaceX's newest Starship prototype, SN11, seems to have taken a little bit of a spring break. But don't think for a second that SpaceX employees are just out there on the beach getting hammered and sunburned. Because we have a new, fully stacked booster, aka BN1, hashtag Super Heavy Booster. Hey everybody, my name is Tim and you are watching another episode of Space Excellent. This is my newest Boca Chica update about SN11 and for the first time, BN1 y'all. If during the course of this video you say, hmm, I like this video. Well then push that like button because that would help this video out a lot. Elon Musk has not yet said if SpaceX has fixed the header tank problem that caused SN10 to land excessively hard. If you're interested in that, I made a whole other video that I will put in the description and I'll put it at the end of this video so you can click on it and check it out. SpaceX's Elon Musk tweeted that SN11 was getting very close to launch and the dreaded FAA seemed to concur. They placed three different TFRs for March 19th, 20th, and 21st, aka Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then they canceled them. And then they brought them back. And they canceled them again. So as of right now, nothing with SN11 is happening this weekend, but do not let that bum you out. Starting Monday, Cameron County will be closing the roads all the way through Thursday. So we should have a couple static fires ready to go. And there's a rumor buzzing around the internet that Starship SN18 and 19 are going to be scrapped. No word yet on if that's true or why that's happening. You've been waiting, now let's talk about it. Super Heavy. Let's talk about what Super Heavy is. SpaceX's Starship really can't get to orbit all by itself, so it needs a boost. And that is exactly what the Super Heavy is. Super Heavy is the first stage of the SLS. No, not that SLS, this SLS. The Starship launch system, not the space launch system. Now that I think about it, it is actually kind of funny that an SLS is going to be replacing the SLS, but that is a subject for another video. Super Heavy will be Starship's ride up to space. And this thing is so big and powerful, it's almost ridiculous. And you can insert your own joke there. The Super Heavy booster will stand 70 meters tall or 230 feet. And just for reference, it'll be taller than Cinderella's Castle, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty. And that's just the booster. Fully assembled Starship and Super Heavy will be 394 feet tall, which is taller than the other SLS and will be much, much more capable. Super Heavy will have an amazing 28 of SpaceX's newest engine, the Raptor. The Raptor engine is a methane-powered engine and is the world's first full-flow stage combustion engine. And it went from looking like this in 2015 to looking like this in 2021. That's a bit of an upgrade. Just like Starship, Super Heavy is going to be reusable, which means it has to come back to Earth to land. But late last year, Elon Musk gave us a New Year surprise saying that the landing legs we're out of there. The advantage to this is the launch tower can just reach out and grab the booster and put it right back on the landing pad, ready for its next launch. Elon Musk loves cutting out steps if they don't need a step. If you don't have to land, then don't. Whatever is simplest and easiest. Let's compare the Starship Super Heavy to some of the other rockets that are currently in development. NASA's newest jobs project, uh, I mean, rocket, the SLS has a core stage being built mostly by Boeing and consists of four RS-25 engines and a couple solid rocket boosters, which combined puts out a respectable 8.2 million pounds of thrust. And that makes it second to Super Heavy. You probably already know that Blue Origin is making a rocket of their own called the New Glenn. And we got a little bit of a glimpse of what it could look like from this video. The New Glenn will be powered by seven of Blue Origin's newest engine, the BE-4 engine. And according to their website, the new Glenn will have about 4 million pounds of thrust at sea level. That makes it third in line to Super Heavy. And ULA's newest rocket, the Vulcan Centaur rocket, is coming in last place at only about half a million pounds of thrust. Unfortunately, BN1 will not be flying. It is what's called a Pathfinder prototype. In other words, they have to learn how to build this giant beast and then move it to the launch platform. Let's talk about Super Heavy's grid fins. SpaceX's current workhorse rocket, the Falcon 9 rocket, uses grid fins for landing as well. As of a couple years ago, these grid fins were the largest formed titanium piece in the entire world. As you can see in this rendering from Neopork, Super Heavy's is just a little bit bigger. Now a special guest, my fiance, let's kick this to Joy to wrap this up. Aye. That's a big rocket. Perfect. That's the end of my show, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you would do me a favor and push the like button if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, you could push the like button anyway. It's not going to cost you anything. And I'll see you on another episode of Space Excellent. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there you go.